Hi, everybody. Um, so, just for starters, uh, I know I said I was going to do X2 2 today. As a matter of fact, I said that in the last two videos I made. But, um, frankly, I've been having a bad day and didn't feel like it. So, instead, for you today, I have a tutorial on how to import or, ch or change or replace uh, character select screen portraits and battle portraits for either Smash Brothers Brawl or Project M. So yeah, basically to start off, what you want to do is you want to open up your internet browser, whatever it may be. For me it's Google Chrome, so I'm just going to open that. And basically you want to go to Google and type in whatever you want to have as an image. Basically, it's usually whatever you want to represent the character costume. So for, for right now it's going to be Mega Man. So I'm just going to punch that in and it's going to take me straight to Google, so... You want to go to images and you basically want to find an image that um, you want. So for this, for the sake of this video, we're just going to pick the first one. And uh, to go back real quick, um, when you find an image you want and you click on it, basically this will show up. And you want to click view image. You don't want to save the image right here as it is because that will be small and not fun. So you just want to save this because it will, it'll be low quality, blurry, and won't look good. So don't save that. And when, when this shows up, you want to click on it to get the full size. So you just save the images whatever the hell you want. So that's saved. And basically, you want to go up to here. You want to go to pixlr.com slash editor. What I have labeled here as photo editor. And just so you know, all the all the links, all the websites in this video will be linked in the description. So, and then basically, you want to find the image you saved. So this right here. And then when when that opens up, you want to make sure that the crop tool is selected as a thing. So all you got to do is highlight the part of the image that you want to keep. So for the sake of this video, his knees. And then you just click off the image area or the canvas and then you have your image you want. And then you want to go up here to edit and you want to go up here to, where is it? Oh, it's an image, never mind. You want to go up here to image and you want to go to image size. And then it has to exactly be 128 by 160 I think it is. Um, Yeah, 128 to 160. I kind of had a brain fart there for a second. So you want to make sure it's 128 by 160. That looks small, but I guarantee you, on the character select screen, the image the image will fit and it'll look really, really good. So basically, after that's done, you want to go File, Save, save your images, whatever, and you want to make sure it says PNG full quality, like this. You don't want to go JPEG good for most photos because you obviously want the full quality so hit OK on that It'll let, it, you can change the title of it to something like I don't know <laughs> there you go see you can ch I'll, I'll change it to this for the sake of the video because why not then you just save it like oh file name's not valid fuck you then fuck you then um Basically, after you save the image, uh, you want to go up here. You want to go to a site called clippingmagic.com. What I have labeled up here is image background remover. So, and then you click choose file to select the file you just saved. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. <clears throat> and then what you want to do, uh, basically, the way this site works is. You highlight the part of the image you want to keep in green, like so. Um, and, and the algorithm on the side is really good, so <clears throat> you don't need to highlight every pixel of the image. You only need to highlight little bits and pieces, and the and the website will do the rest. Um, so this should be fine. And basically, you go up here to select the red tool, and you just click, and you click. And basically, when the yellow surrounding the image, you have what you want to keep. So you go and click download. Oh wait, and then there's this down here. 
There. So now that's all gone. And you can see over here on this side that it looks really good. Click download. And you have then that'll download like it's supposed to. And then you can close the internet down now. After you close that, you want to go to your brawl box. Shut up, dog. And then you go to your brawl box and you, you run it. And you want to make sure you have your SD card in with your Project M or your Brawl Hacks on it. Dog! Dog, please. <laughs> and then, uh, basically, you want to find where your SD card is in your My Computer. So you go to Computer and you find where your SD card is. And for me, I'm using Project M, so you go to Project M. And you go PF, and then you go System. And you go common five. This is that's the same for brawl. If you're using brawl, you go PF, and then you go system, and then you go common five. And basically, these will show up. The only one you want to click on is um, e uh, C S C S select character E N is the one you want to click on, and then you want to click on character bust text I Z seventy seven. And then you wanna you wanna click on Basically, these these numbered folders will show up, and each each uh, folder is a different character. So, for the sake of the video, we're just going to use um, folder zero, which is Mario. And then you double click textures, and then um, so each um, each number here is a different costume. So, basically, once you find the costume you want to replace on the specific character, you right click it, and for the sake of the video we're going to replace the first costume, then you click replace, and then you basically find where you saved the image at, um, this one here I think, and you want to make sure, now make sure that this data size number does not go to 11,000, or 11 whatever this number is, hang on. One, two, three. Yeah, no, eleven thousand. Make sure this does not go to eleven thousand. It can go above ten thousand, but it cannot go to eleven because if it goes to eleven, uh, basically what would happen is you open up the character select screen and you go to highlight the portrait that you changed, and the game would freeze and you'd get the beep of death and then you'd have to unplug your Wii and your or your Wii U and um, and um, reset it again and that's not fun and again you want to make sure your size is 128 by 160 so after you make sure of all this oh and also you want to make sure that the uh, format is CMPR because this file format reduces the file size but also reduces the quality just by a little bit but you want the reduce in file size that way you don't go to 11,000 like I stated earlier and then you click OK, and then you have your character select um, replaced. And then you just exit out and save changes, and then you go and play your game. You go and play your um, your Project M or your Brawl. Um, yeah, that's how you replace character select screen portraits. And battle select screen portraits are literally the same thing, um, except the file... The file um, the, hang on, I'll give you guys an example. So basically for battle screen portraits, you do the same thing, except you go to Project M, PF, and you go find Info, then you go Portrait, and then you basically find one, then you go Textures, and then you go here, and you basically do the same thing. You remove the background for the image using the Clipping Magic site, and you, you crop out the image that you want to keep, and you resize it to 48 by 56 and you make sure the format is C18 and then you basically have your character select uh, your um yeah <laughs> what was I gonna say your um battle portrait so let me try to give an example here uh hmm, I think I have one saved hang on I, I'm just gonna go to Project M stuff. 
Battle Portraits, Finals. Yeah, here's one. So basically, I already have one set up. So like I said, you make sure that the file size is 48 by 56, and you make sure that the format is C18 or C18, and then you click OK, and you basically have your battle portrait. Again, the big thing is to make sure that 48 by 56 and C18 are the three things you watch out for. And that's how you make your own character select and battle select screen portraits. Uh, so, have fun everybody. Um, yeah. That's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay hyped for my Mega Man X2 LP that I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Bye. Um, stop.